Hi, this is Nader from Bravo Nader. One more day with fun cooking fish and fish from all over the world. Uh, today we're going to prepare black grouper. This comes from Florida. Black grouper is very meaty, very delicious. I think it uh, tastes a little bit like striped bass, but it does not dry as fast as striped bass compared to the same size of fish. So, how are we going to make this guy taste? You're going to make it oreganata with some fresh fettuccine and broccoli oil and garlic. Oreganata means that's involving oregano into it, but other things. So, how are we going to flavor that black grouper? Now, we start with the ingredients. About half a cup of Japanese breadcrumbs. Hungarian smoked paprika. About a tablespoon. About a tablespoon of Parmigiano Reggiano, about a teaspoon of minced fresh garlic, oreganata, oregano, a pinch of oregano. I like a little pinch of red pepper too, just to make a little zip, not too much. A little salt, a little pepper, and olive oil for moist, about two tablespoons. Okay? And you mix this guy pretty good. Smells unbelievable. All right. See, it's moist. It's like sa moist sand or wet sand. All right. You don't want it to be too much like oil. You want just enough. Okay. That's the first start. We're going to put a little drop of oil right here. Just so the fish don't stick. Not too much. And we're going to fold the tail. Any piece that you have a tail, you fold it, become a centerpiece. See how you do this? Beautiful. Then you take all the ingredients that we mixed. We just get gently, do it like this. Never go like this, ever. No good. You make it like uh, big clams that are coming out of the fr freezer, you know, that already been sitting there for three months till you order it. Not me. Okay? Just like that. And then you put a little wine around, not on the top because you're going to wash. You don't do that, defeat the purpose. And you're going to put half a lemon or half a lime all around. Okay. A small piece of butter on the top to keep the moist. And just a tiny drop of water, just a little bit. And you're going to put it in the oven for about uh, 30 minutes at 500 convection roast. Just like that. Stick it in the oven on the upper shelf because heat rise. We're gonna serve this grouper with some uh, fresh fettuccine or uh, white fettuccine or baby pappadelle. We're gonna take the broccoli. We're gonna just cut them in half because we're not really past, it's not a pasta dish. It's something that be with the grouper. So we just make them small little cute little broccoli. Okay, just a little bit. Let me spread all of them, just like that. And then we have some cherry peppers right here. I'm just gonna dice them. We're gonna put oil and garlic, and the cherry pepper give nice sip to the uh, to the dish. Okay, and of course we're gonna need some garlic. All right, we got a nice pan here. Put a drop of olive oil. Then give it a second for the oil to get hot. If the pan is hot, the oil is going to get hot right away. We're going to mix here the cherry pepper and the garlic together. Okay, Just give me a second. So ready? Right, put it all together. In the meantime, put your fettuccine or pappadella and the broccoli together because the pasta is fresh. It's going to cook very fast. Yeah. I want the garlic to turn brown. If you want to stop cooking the garlic, you just hit it with a little bit of water or something just to, so the garlic don't burn. So I think it's ready. Just going to put water. All right? And then she puts it on the side so the pasta and broccoli will cook, which is about three minutes okay on the side now all right we're gonna take the pasta and the fettuccine we're gonna put them right here in uh, cherry pepper we 
میں جو ہے امیزون چیز جسٹ سو دا فلیور ول اسٹک دیر دین گین پوٹ دس آن اے باٹم اینڈ وی گین پوٹ آور گروپر آن ٹاپ Spatular, take the grouper out, right on the top of the beautiful dish. And then what happens with the flavor? The flavor goes right back inside the fish. See? Very important. This is all the flavor of the fish. Salute. Clean the palate. Good start. So we're going to start eating here from the crunch. Look at that. Look how it flakes. Look at that. Wow. Really, really, really good. Very moist, very flaky, very buttery, not dry. You know, you think grouper, because big fish is dry. No. It's moist, you just know how to cook it. Timing is everything. It's all about 12, 13 minutes and always high heat. You know, making prime rib. Don't forget that. From Nader, Long Island, Huntington. Till next time, arrivederci.